This is Kim with Geauga Firearms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about what I put in my range bag. Before we get started, just to be clear, none of these products I'm getting paid for or anything like that, but there are some things I put in my range bag I find very helpful and I thought you guys might enjoy it. So let's look through what's inside. Let's first off talk about the bag itself. I've tried different bags and some even like really higher end ones. And at the end of the day, I really like the Smith & Wesson one. It wasn't like the cheapest bag you're gonna get, but so far, Anil has a larger version and I have this one and they've held up and we are pretty hard on our gear. Um, we go through a lot of different temperatures. There's a lot of dirt and dust and uh, we're throwing around in the side by side to the truck and back and forth. Um, and they've held up really well so far. The other thing you're gonna notice is I have my trauma kit on the outside. I like it to be a bright color that's easy to spot. So if I tell someone, go find, give me that red bag, they can get it really easily. Um, they can even just rip it right off. There's a, an attachment, but it rips right off if they need it. And I have a boo-boo bag inside for like bandages and little things like that. But this is like my tra go-to trauma kit. Inside the bag, I have duct tape, because you always need tape, you never know, you can use it for anything. Um, I have um, eyes in both clear and um, shaded, depending on the lighting. I have my uh, range finder, so like if I'm out at an outdoor range. I also have, of course, my ammo in here. And I usually keep an extra pair of ears. I really like these Walker razors. Um, I have the ones with the gel inserts, so they're really comfortable. And what's awesome about them, if you don't know, is that they can actually amplify sound. And then when it gets to a point where it's too high and it's unsafe, it brings it down. Um, some of the cheaper ones, they like cut in and out, but these ones keep this, the sound consistent. So you're able to talk to people, especially when I'm trying to do like a private lesson, there could be other people shooting around us and I can still talk to them and instruct them and they can hear me. Definitely worth buying some electronic hearing protection. And these are actually at a decent price. So I really like those, the Walker razors. I also have my mag loader. These are awesome. This one's from, what's this one from? Mag Lula, we'll put it up to the as you can see, I really like this one a lot. I'll show you how it works here in just a moment. It's a little awkward to use at first, and once you get a hold of it, man, you're fast. You just squeeze as you press down, and you are able to insert around, and you insert the next round. Um, especially with new students who haven't quite gotten used to loading a magazine, it really can save your fingers. And I have a pink one, so the boys don't steal it, because I often will have people borrow this during our defensive pistol classes, and I know that they'll return it because it's pink, they won't think it's theirs. I also have my shooting gloves in here. Um, these ones are from LA Police Gear. I also have some cheaper ones I just picked up from a um, outdoor shop. What's really important is when you're looking for gloves when you're shooting, they obviously can't be very thick, so they're not gonna be very warm, but it does help to have some kind of glove on your hand, especially when it's really cold out here in the Midwest. A lot of people will just have the mechanics gloves, which are also really great too. I also have this mag pouch from Pipple Tactical. Why I like it is because it fits most magazines and it even fits some multi-tools, so it's just a really easy, quick fix. Um, no matter what gun I'm using that day, I can usually use it for that magazine uh, as a magazine pouch or if a student needs one I can let them borrow this one and it'll pretty much fit all their magazines. On top of my two sets of walkers I also like to carry just some little cheap little foamies. Some people are very sensitive to sound, one of my sisters is, and so when uh, I take them shooting I actually wear the foamies and they wear a muff over it so it's just good to have extra in case you need them. Going along with all that because people are always borrowing my stuff I have just some some cleaning wipes to wipe everything down my ears um, when I'm all finished letting people use them or if anything gets dirty. Another really convenient thing are these little circle sticker target things you can stick on paper or cardboard. Um, it helps you not have to use so many paper targets so you can just place them up there and they usually turn like a fluorescent color as you shoot so it's really easy to see if you hit or miss. Since I'm also doing a lot of instructing and lessons, I like to bring along my orange gun so I can show people things really easily. I also have Sharpies in here so um, I can mark the targets and label them and also I'll sometimes make a mark on someone's hand so that they can remember their grip. So those are always convenient. 
And then for my two carry guns, I always carry my extra magazines that are unloaded. So when I'm all done with my lessons or classes, I can take a moment and practice with my carry gun. Instead of having to unload all my defensive rounds to load up my training rounds, I have these just ready to go in there. In the front pocket here, I have my staple gun. In this pocket, I have some extra staples. I also have um, some boo-boo stuff. So I have little band-aids in case someone gets a little cut or something simple like that. Even though we're at a live range, I also bring some snap caps so we can do some different drills or if I wanna check to see if they have some anticipation. I bring those along. I have some extra batteries for my hearing protection. The other thing I don't have in the bag because it's with Neil is my shot timer. So I have extra batteries for that in here. It also depends on the time of year. So during the winter time, I often have those hot hands in here, an extra pair of gloves. And in the summer, I have, you know, some patches to keep bugs away and just different things depending on the season there. This is my other thing I carry around with me and that's um, this box here. Inside, I just have some random stuff and sometimes I just keep this in the car and won't even bring it out with me, but I have a, a towel in case I need to do any cleaning. I have a multi-tool. I have some let off so when I'm all done I can clean my hands and then I have some different gun oils and uh, cleaners in here in case I need to do some quick cleanup. And your range bag is gonna to be totally different than my range bag because it just depends on the type of range you're training at and um, the, your needs if you're just going by yourself or if you're also a fellow trainer. But I definitely recommend, especially if you're a newer shooter, get some electronic carrying protection, um, get a mag loader, these are awesome to have. I'm trying to record on myself today. That was just a quick little bag dump video, but I thought you guys might like it. If you did, please give me a like, a thumbs up, a share, a comment. We always love to hear from you guys. Uh, you can find us here on Facebook. You can find us on Rumble, on Instagram, and of course, Patreon. And until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by six.